Abidjan, Ivory Coast's economic center is undergoing a breathtaking transformation. Construction sites seem to be everywhere, and there are new entire districts appearing too. The city now has over 5 million inhabitants. Nature is disappearing, while pollution permeates the city. Eve Landry Kwame is one of a growing number of people taking action to ensure a healthier Abidjan. In this environmental blog, he writes about the huge problem of littering. In this neighborhood, the rubbish dump has disappeared, leaving residents to improvise. We don't know what happened. The container left and now people have to come here because the place where they are supposed to deposit refuse is too far away. That's very annoying. The blogger feels that ignorance too threatens the environment. He hopes that his documentary work will raise awareness and motivate people. More than 50% of the population of Ivory Coast is not really literate. So, a big population like that is not very aware of the environmental protection issues, ecological issues, the link between their activities and the consequences that they may be on their planet, or that they may be for their own health. Could at least a part of this waste be recycled? What looks like real stone is actually recycled plastic. Edith Kwasi herself developed the concept. During her master's studies in environment and plastic waste management, she asked herself how she could help solve Abidjan's garbage problem in concrete terms. I checked everywhere to see what we can do with plastic waste, especially in Ivory Coast, and the means that we have at our disposal. I discovered that there are physical products available, such as paving stones, bricks, and many other things, such as granules. And they are in big demand. One hotel has had its driveway paved with recycled plastic bricks. Edith Kwasi founded her own company in 2019, and now she has seven employees. She's convinced that young entrepreneurs like her can bring about change in Abidjan. If other young people get involved in green entrepreneurship, we will be able to make Ivory Coast, and even our African continent, a world that works to reduce atmospheric pollution. It involves the ecological impact and promoting a green city and an ecological city. African cities will be at the forefront of climate disruption. Arona Diedou is one of the authors of the latest IPCC report on climate change. He says that Africa can achieve major improvements even before receiving the aid promised in the Paris Agreement. You don't need a lot of money for urban ecology, and it has a lasting impact. As for education and awareness raising, each state, city and territory must come up with inclusive solutions to fight against the harmful effects of climate change. And that's what these students at Abidjan's university do. They are planting 30 trees on campus, and that's just the beginning. Samuel Conan organized the activity. He has a geography students' union here. They received the trees for free from a state company aligned with the Ivorian Environment Ministry, and he hopes to plant even more trees. In a few years, we won't be here, but those who come after us should really be able to enjoy the same conditions that we did. The Kumasi district in southeastern Abidjan is a concrete wasteland. Now the mayor has started to re-green some avenues. Samuel Conan and Edith Kwasi see this as a good sign. They are not alone in their efforts for a greener city.